evening everyone. Stephen aka Beerbid here. Coming to you once again from my living room. The summer's gone AWOL around here. It's still warm, very warm, too warm if anything. It's just topped 82% humidity in here, in this room. Um, but we're not getting much sunshine, overcast all the time. We had some rain while I was out walking Ziggy as well. But having said that, I've got all set up to film in here and the sun's come out. What can you do? So I'm probably going to struggle to keep this alight because I've had it drying, but what can dry in this heat? I certainly can't. Smoking my Dansk Club, Stanwell second line. And in it, I'm smoking my second ever bowl of a new tobacco, Jermaine's Plum Cake Mixture. Now sadly, for some reason, they've stopped selling it in tins. So, you know, it's all, you have to take my word for it that PC, it's not political correctness, it's plum cake. Um, it may be a cost thing. Obviously, it's much cheaper for Germains to ship it out in bulk and let uh, retailers pack it up in plastic pouches than it is for Germains to put it in tins. But, Bit of a shame. Um, I should have to get more storage. But at the moment, I keep most of it in um, in the plastic pouch, and that's not ideal, as you know. Now, plum cake mixture. This is a traditional pipe mixture of which 80% is prepared from six different types of Virginia leaf. The remaining 20% is a specially prepared black tobacco nor Cavendish, which is made from air-cured leaf. And it has a top in a casing, a mild aromatic. They say plum on the side, which hits the plum cake mixture. But the pouch note is definitely wine. Definitely a smell of wine, and I think that comes through on the taste as well. It's quite a mild flavour tobacco, but I have to, this is the second bowl. I had a, another bowl a couple of days back. And so far, could be another one for the regular list. It's probably the finest cut tobacco I've ever bought. Let's say it is, let's say. Shag I knew I'd drop some. It's only money, isn't it? Actually, when I'm off camera, I'll pick it up. <laughs> I'm not proud. But yeah, very, very fine. It's almost like a rolling tobacco. You could roll a cigarette with that. But it's really nice. It's got a nice tang to it. And that's what I really like. Cheers. I've got to drink this before it gets warm, so you know, you got to do what you got to do. But very pleasant. As I say, it's not strong, so if you prepare someone that likes big, bold flavours in your tobacco, you're probably not going to like this. But. I like it. Suits my palate. 
I have to say, I thought I'd started smoking a pipe last August, but I was checking. So I have to keep doing that, but it is so sticking. Um, which I'm sure you wanted to hear. <laughs> Thank you, lucky stars, it's only my t-shirt, I'm adjusting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I checked back and it was last September I actually started, so I'm still two months shy of my first anniversary of smoking. Not of putting videos up, of smoking a pipe. And um, I've tried a lot. I know Gary. The gentleman scholar, he asked me, he said he was surprised at how many I'd tried in such a relatively short space of time. And as I said, so basically, because the online distributors here will sell you um, 10 or 12 and a half gram samples, which you can get about three bowls out of, some, enough to get the measure of something. And so I did loads and loads of them. So I've tried far more tobaccos and different tobacco styles than I could have done if I'd been buying 50 grams at a time. Excuse me. It's a pea super. Um, and I'm starting, it's taken me this long, but I'm starting to find out, you know, really where things lie, as far as I'm concerned. Things I've really discovered are, one, Latakia. I don't feel like, I said this to Tim Waters, was it Wolf Valley Boy, I think? Oh, sorry Tim if I got that wrong. Um, I almost don't feel like a proper smoker because um, I don't like Latakia, but no. Sorry, someone's doing something out there with an angle grinder or a chainsaw or something. Um, no, um, Latakia I don't like. To me, too reminiscent of a rained out campfire or um, a wet dog. Not pleasant. but. Obviously, a very, very popular tobacco. The only blend I've tried that I actually liked Latakia in was San Gareth Squadron Leader. I did enjoy that, and I think it's because they got the balance just right, as for my personal taste. But other than that, I'm not keen. I've tried a few Dunhill blends, I've, I've done my best with it, but Maybe I'll come back to it when the weather's colder, because I think it is more suited to autumn and winter somehow. When I get back on the fireside rambles, perhaps it'll go with the smoke of the fire, you know. And the other thing I've decided I really, really, really do not like is the Lakedale Essence. Which is a bit of a shame because Gareth Hogarth has probably got the biggest range of tobaccos available in the UK. And they're the ones that lay on the Lakedale sauce and I'm not keen. Floral and tobacco to me don't go together. Once again it's a personal thing. I know a lot of people love it. But not me. That's why I couldn't get on with Condor. I didn't enjoy that at all and that's probably the biggest selling over the counter blend in the UK. I just do not like floral. I even bought some, because I'd seen Grandpa Cavendish Ed had recommended the Rum Flake, Gareth Hogarth Rum Flake, and I tried some of that because I knew he liked it. Once again, unless they sent me the wrong stuff, I couldn't smell rum in the pouch note, I couldn't taste rum in the, um, in the blend. And I love rum. Well, I did when back in my sort of harder drinking days, and I would have thought rum and tobacco go together very well. But all I got from it once again was the floral, the Lakedale, to the extent that I wondered if they sent me the wrong tobacco. Um, so that's what I don't like Latakia, I don't like the Lakeland Essence. Um, 
And I've mentioned before my problems with Perique. I like Perique, I like the smell of it, I like the taste of it. But the balance is going to be right, and that's what it comes down to with a lot of these tobaccos, isn't it? Cheers. It's just going to be in the right proportions for your own personal taste. And probably the best um, Parique blend, vapour, that I've had was um, the Solani. Is it, is it 633? I don't know. Virginia Float with Parique. I think it's the 633. I'm not, I won't look it up. But that to me got it just right. And as you all know, I've got my own blend mulching away at the moment, which has started life as a Parique powerhouse. And I'm hoping that if I give it another week or two, it'll tone down considerably. But yes, yeah, so the main things for me, I suppose, are Virginia, Black Cavendish and Burley, all in the right proportions. Virginia probably being the, the, the number one favourite, and um, I like citrusy, tangy, sweet Virginia. But I do like this. I really do like this. What tobaccos have I found so far that have made it onto my want to buy again. Yeah, I've got the, yes, it is the Solani 633 from Virginia. Revor plug, of course. Love my Revor. Baron Scottish mixture. Now, that was quite a while ago I had that, but I, I did obviously like it because I put it down on the list. I've got the Gareth, Gareth Hogarth Black and Brown, and this one will be joining it. Trouble is, there's so many tobaccos you want to try. I see some of the guys in the um, the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club, they've got, I mean they literally have a cellar, they've got a room that is full of tobacco. I'm going to show you my cellar. Repurposed from Christmas. <laughs> but you know, I'm getting by alright, finding out what I like. Mm. Still haven't broken in my Falcon yet. Um, surprised by the number of comments I've had about Falcons, they really are so popular. And I must admit, all this time I've looked at them and thought, I don't like those things. And now I can't, I've been taking it out of the box and looking at it. <laughs> I don't have much of a life, you know. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to trying it. Because um, I think it's going to be a really good smoker. I wish I could blow smoke rings, but I can't. I haven't got a clue how to do that. Oh well, nearly up to 15 minutes, so I suppose I better wrap it up. You'll all be glad to know I made it up with the boy last night after we had a bit of a falling out. It was touch and go for a while, you know. We weren't on speaking terms, but. Um, once I offered him something to eat, he seemed to get over it. And I was cooking for heaters last night for me and my daughter. And I made it with turkey breast. And obviously I was still feeling guilt from the night before because I always give him some anyway. Not the, for he, you know, I cook the turkey, then remove some for him before I have the spices and stuff. But I gave him too much. Spoil that boy, you know. 
trouble is I look at it in the bowl after I put it in there and think, I've given him a hell of a lot, but I'm not going to fish it back out again. <laughs> Oh well, all better call it a night on this one. Um, still feel like I'm just talking to you and chatting here. It's nice. I hope you're all having a fantastic Sunday evening. You had a good weekend. Um, I've had a fairly lazy weekend and watching Mark who's your piper. We, that's not a garden, Mark. That's a small holding. I don't. <laughs> you got your work cut out there, mate. I'm too lazy for that sort of thing. But anyway, all the best everyone. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Um, and uh, I hope me adjusting my sticky parts hasn't turned you off too much. I do so, I must have said something wrong in the past couple of weeks, because my subscribers think has gone crazy. Um, you know, it's like, you know, over a couple of weeks you put on two, you lose one, blah, blah, blah. Over the past couple of weeks, I've lost 15 subscribers. I'm trying to think what I said. I must have been even more offensive than normal. Or perhaps they're just fed up with watching some boring old git drinking his beer and smoking a pipe and sweating. Cheers all, that's it. I'm rambling. Bye-bye. See you again soon.